excited to be here at the Black Family Reunion. I want to accomplishments and, and what she established with the NCNW and now the Black Family Reunion. I want to thank Sheba Haley for asking me to come. Um, I'm from Washington, D.C., born and raised. I uh, went to school, Duke Ellington, for a period of time, and then I went to uh, Potomac High School in Oxford Hill, Maryland, and went on to Morgan State University, where the doctor, uh, the late Dr. Nathan Carter was there. From high school, I um, was on a television show and ended up getting my first contract in high school, and uh, my mom actually wouldn't let me uh, do the contract unless I went to school at the same time, so I was in college and recording at the same time. Uh, and from there, I did Sister Act 2 with Lauren Hill and Zyza the Sparrow, and that movie has been playing for 17 years. We thank God for grace. There's a whole new generation that knows my face, so I'm excited about that. But the thing that is most encouraging uh, for me is to have fans and people uh, as yourself that have shaped who Tanya Blunt is, because as an artist, you can become self-consumed because people are always paying attention to you. It's unlike any other business in the world where all the attention is on you. You can go to work every day and you may just have your boss eyes on you, but in this business we happen to have our failures and our mistakes and our success and all those things in front of everybody. So I am a mother, my son is here, he's 14 right back there. Uh, Antonio, he's real quiet laid back. So I wanna thank him for sitting in with mommy today. Um, I am currently working on a stage play uh, called Dave Daddy's Issues that I wrote, produced, and wrote the songs for. I am also working on a, a very exciting project as well. I, I really want to talk about that right now, but it'll be out really, really soon uh, with one of my favorite singers in the world. Uh, and I've also just finished a new book called Finish Happy that uh, will be out October the 15th. So I'm also an author. Um, that's what I do as well. And I have a nonprofit organization for young girls called Project Chance. And what we do is we empower young girls through self-esteem um, through an eight-week program where we teach them uh, how to be ladies because it's very important in this business to stay a lady. And I will get more 